let's take a look at a few more generating objects and now we're going to look at the lag what that does is that it takes this spline and then makes it a 360 that gives it a round shape and also makes it a 3d object so let's see what does that all mean and how does that work so for that first i'm going to get into my friend view by getting into my four views and then click on my friend view then you know minimize this bar and drag a glass and get in between and again full size and then just zoom out and then i would probably get this right at the center zooming out then click on your front view anywhere in a front view and click on shift v that would give you a viewport front and then click on back and just tab back and then you know just decrease your transparency in order so that you know whatever work you does you do it's completely visible so I decree, I mean I increase my transparency to 80% and then you know you could zoom in and then click uh, on your uh, spline and then select the Bezier or whatever is company you're comfortable with you might do good with freehand too but I would always prefer the Bezier and start getting lines around your glass and you know it might definitely not be precise any first go it wasn't for me also but then you keep on trying and then it comes out to be correct so just keep on doing it Well, that much of precise one might be enough then you will definitely have to make sure that it's precise since it's an important aspect while making any cinema 4d objects so you drag down click on this then again drag down oh, no, I should have clicked over here maybe yeah, that will do drag down in more and then keep on doing that and reach over here and then get into the center now what I would like to make sure is that I would click on my live selection, click on this point and then you know click on the move and wait click on this blind point, the coordinate of that point and you know make the x axis as 0 and probably drag it down Okay, so I make it back to zero. Then you know, just drag it down. Uh, appears to be that it's not being much of difference. So just click Control Z and get this back to zero. And then you know, go on top, select this spline, and then make this position also back to zero. Well, you know, if your position is not zero, then when you click on this spline, it would make a slight hole in between, which we'd like to avoid right now. And now you could get back to your perspective. So you see, I've got half of my wine glass in this manner. Now, all I've got to do is go to my subdivision, that is my generator objects, and click on lag, and then get the spline under lag. And that's the magic. I get my wine glass right here. And definitely these wine glasses are you know transparent, so we could add all those effects later. But right now, you know, on your lap, you've got many other options to play around with, like your object, you know, angle and other things. Yeah, so what I was telling you earlier is that you have a spline right now which is like this. What LAD does, it you know keeps on increasing the angle to make it a perfect 360 degree and give you a wine, I mean a, a 360 degree object 
and that will also be 3D. So see if I render this out, it's totally 3D. And you can do many other things. For example, I could make this smoother by just increasing the size of subdivision, the normal subdivision, the movement. Oh wait, not the movement though, not the movement. Be wrong. Then the scaling is perfect, 100% and other things. So that will give me a really smooth wine glass. And you know, now I could just click on render. So this is my wine glass and then this is one out of zillions of way one out of zillions of way that you could use your sweep sorry your lat object to you know you could use your lat objects so this is one out of zillions of way and that one way is making a wine glass and then peace till then I I would be uploading more videos sooner and I would definitely like you to leave a comment behind so that it would help me to increase the quality of my videos and then till my next video peace